Hello world. I am coming to you with Butter's picture because I don't want my face. Use my face right now. But yeah, I already updated everybody on the community pages. It's going to be the same thing. Hopefully YouTube does not strike me down for this because they don't like when I talk about medical crap. But yeah. So last night, like I said, we had him admitted to the hospital because he couldn't pee. Well, they called me at 2.30 in the morning and to tell me that the uh, little flushing of the bladder went fine. <sighs> and yeah, he went and did a butt exam and he pulled out some poo and then butters pooed on his own later. Didn't tell me how much, but yeah, he got it out somehow at least. And then they called this evening and said that he has um, an inflamed bladder and like his pee yesterday was it was dark and you know had blood in it and today it's less dark but still has some red in it and they're gonna keep him hooked up to the catheter until tomorrow morning unless they're I guess unless it's not clear enough for what they like but they'll, they'll take it out and see if he can pee on his own and if he doesn't have any you know make sure he doesn't have any blood in it and all that they you know ran the pee they didn't find any um, bacteria in it. Uh, the only thing that was in it was glucose, which that's explained away by um, his diabetes. He didn't have any crystals or stones in there. His um, x-ray that he had didn't show anything in there, but they're sending it to a radiographer or whatever. Radiologist. Radiologist to, to um, <laughs> shut up. To just to uh, get their opinion to make sure. Um, his blood work came out. It's kind of like, eh, not really like the worst, I would say. Pretty much how his blood work has been coming out. Like, he has slightly level, high levels of certain things, but a lot of that can be um, attributed to this his inflamed bladder or the diabetes. So yeah, and they said what it probably is, is that cystitis feline, itty something, cystitis, which some of you helped me out on the community page, just saying your cats have that, that's what it was, I couldn't remember, but yeah, it's probably what it is, meaning something like stressed him out, or could have stressed him out, that caused inflammation of the bladder, which I'm thinking maybe, because he was very, very, very constipated, that probably stressed him out. So I know he was very upset with trying to get his poo out, so. And we all know if you get full of hard poo, it hurts the tummy, so. It probably was that that stressed him out. Uh, yeah, and then there's almost, the only treatment really for it is to take him in there when if he has a flare up so they can flush him and pump him full of fluid. And to try to make sure he continues to drink his water and to stay hydrated. To keep things kind of water out the pee or whatever. Dilute the pee. And it says, you know, with his age, is always a possibility of cancer. But the x-ray didn't show anything, so. It probably isn't that. Uh, yeah, and then we'll hear from them tomorrow about the rest, about how he's doing, and if he can come home tomorrow night, or if he has to stay another night. He shall see, but he's being a meanie beanie, so he was being a meanie beanie last night. We heard him, whenever the doctor got in there to examine him, we heard him screeching. So, and that was, they weren't even really, they were, all they were doing was like squeezing his belly. As far as I know, that's all they were doing. But, yes, that's a good, I mean, that's a good sign when I look at it. If he's being, you know, if he feels good enough to put up a fight, then that's good. Because he, when he has his pancreatitis, he didn't really put up much of a fight. And that's how you know he's sick. So, yeah, he's still strong. 
just one other thing I gotta be paranoid over. <laughs> Yay me. But yeah, that's his update. And I did start a GoFundMe. And thank you to everybody who has donated so far. It is very helpful. And I hate asking and putting that up. But if you've been to the emergency vets, you know it's very, very pricey. So thank you everyone who is, <laughs> has helped us this time and the last times. It is very good you are preserving the bean. But yeah, I'll leave the link for that below. If anybody wants to, don't feel obligated. Obviously, you can also support us by just watching these videos, giving a thumbs up, and leave a comment for interaction so it helps YouTube, you know, push it out into the YouTube verse. Hey, yeah, that's the update for now, and hopefully, I don't have to type this out. Good. You know, because YouTube doesn't like me. That's how they also um, put that little blood monitor. Oh, yeah, they did do that. There's like a little, um, they have it for people too, or like a little circle thing that they poke into, like a little, like a tag that you can just like swipe over and it tells you their, um, glucose levels because he was being very, very meanie beanie and when wasn't cooperating and she didn't want to keep poking him and stressing him out more so she put one of those things in there so they can just ding and yeah they'll probably he'll probably come home with it on and it'll fall off on its own yeah there's that and on a happier brighter note fritter has well, i think she has four babies there's four of them out there and i got some good footage of them they weren't really too scared of me. They pretty much came right up to me. So I got some cute footage of that. So that was a nice thing to brighten up the day. But yeah, thank you all for watching this and supporting the bean. He is here because of you. <laughs> so thank you. And I just want to boop his nose. This is my favorite picture I've ever taken of him, by the way. So pretty. The green brings out his face and his eyes. But again, yeah, thank you, and we will keep you updated as we are updated. Okay, bye.